In this video, we're going to talk about the envelope theorem. Now, what is envelope theorem and what do we exactly do here? See, try to understand. We want to go ahead and we want to... So, so just take an example. Once this example is clear, envelope theorem will be clear. Suppose I want to maximize utility subject to my budget constraint, right? So my utility function is x to the power alpha. Suppose I take a simple one, x, y. And my budget constraint is uh, px into x plus py into y less than equal to income of the consumer. You go ahead and form a Lagrange and you get x, y plus lambda m minus px into x minus py into y. Then better you will just differentiate this with respect to x equal to 0, with respect to y equal to 0, with respect to uh, lambda and equate it to 0. And now, then you will get x star y star. So I am not solving it, but when you will solve for x star, you will get m by 2px. And when you will get y star, you will get m by 2py. So one thing that you have to notice in this case is that your x star is a function of income and prices and y star is also a function of income and prices where income and prices are exogenous variables. Those variables are already given to you. They are determined outside the model. So if I talk about utility function, utility will be x star into y star. So it will be m by 2px into m by 2py. So this is going to be m square by 4 px py. So your utility is also a function of income and prices. Yeah. Now the question is how your income changes will affect your utility. This is your maximum utility. Utility x into y. Tha. X ki jaga pe we have plugged in its optimal value. Y ki jaga pe we have plugged in its optimal value. And we have got the maximum value of the utility. This maximum utility is a function of income. So we are asking how this utility will be changed when income changes. How the optimal utility will be changed as income changes. That will simply be 2m by 4px py. This will simply be m by 2px into py. This will simply be m by 2px into py. Try to understand that this is very important that when income changes, then the optimal value of x and y will also change. Why jab income badalti hai, jab income change hoti hai, to x or y ki optimal value bhi to change hogi. Or jab x or y ki optimal value change hogi, to usse bhi to utility change hogi. So ideally, when my income is changing, there are two effects on utility. One is the direct effect, that it directly affects the utility of the consumer. One is the indirect effect, that it affects the consumption of x and y, which affect the utility. Right? But Envelope theorem says that we don't have to think about the indirect effect. Aap simply apni maximum utility ko m se differentiate karo and it will give you the final answer how much you are affected by the changes in income. So what the Envelope theorem suggests is that how, how my uh, you know, utility changes when an exogenous variable changes to find out that you should simply differentiate utility with respect to income and done. The maximum utility with respect to income and done. Right. Okay, beta. Now let's, let's just read this out. When we talk about optimization, we keep, keep some variables constant. Just say, here income or price is constant. Just a demand function, mein taste and preferences will be constant. Say you want to maximize demand such that you want to keep your taste and preferences constant. Well, this is exactly what I have written here. So you have an objective function subject to some constraints. In this constraint, you will have the function. Just for example, here, 
मेरा कंस्ट्रेंट था बजट लाइन बेटा इन दिस बजट लाइन आई हैव सम एक्सेस आई हैव दिस एक्स आई हैव दिस वाई दीज एक्स एंड वाईज आर वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डेटर माइंड दीज आर एंडोजिनस इनकी वैल्यू मुझे मॉडल के अंदर से निकालनी है बट आई ऑल्सो हैव पी एक्सेस एंड एम दीज आर एक्सोजिनस दे आर डेटर माइंड आउट साइड द मॉडल सो इन एनी इन एनी केस इन एनी प्रॉब्लम गिवन टू यू यू विन हैव सम एक्सेस दीज एक्सेस आर वॉट आर डेटर माइंड विद इन द मॉडल एंड सम आर्स विच आर प्री डेटर माइंड दे आर गिवन टू यू now after doing that suppose you get some maximum value of the function jaise aapko yahan par utility ki maximum value mil gayi thi this maximum value of the function it will be called as the value function it will only be a function of the exogenous variables jaise hamare case mein jo maximum utility aayi wo beta aa gayi m square by 4 px py so i will not see any x or y here now I am only seeing the exogenous variable. मुझे सिर्फ इनकम और प्राइजेस दिख रहे हैं दो वेरिएबल विच आर ऑलरेडी गिवन टू मी राइट सो द मैक्सिम वैल्यू दैट यू विल गेट इट विल ओनली बी अ फंक्शन ऑफ द एक्सोजनस वेरिएबल्स इनफैक्ट आपने जो x और y निकाला x star y star, that is also a function of the exogenous variables only, right? So now if I want to ask how the value of the function will change as the exogenous variable changes there are two impacts ek to direct ho gaya ki income badli to utility badal gayi and one is indirect ki when income changes demand of good will change and hence utility will change so there is a direct effect that our exogenous variable will affect the function and there is an indirect effect that the exogenous variable will affect the axis and x will affect the functional value now what is the envelope theorem saying the envelope theorem says that you don't have to account for those indirect um effects they are automatically being captured you just have to differentiate your value function with respect to the exogenous variable aapko sirf apne value function ko exogenous variable ke respect mein differentiate karna hai you just have to go ahead and do that as an example consider this suppose i want to minimize the cost subject to this utility uh, subject to this production function so i will form the lagrange so this is my cost and uh, multiplier and this is my production function ab you will do the usual things you will differentiate it with respect to k equated to 0 with respect to l equated to 0 with respect to lambda equated to 0 after you do that you will notice that you will get your kl in terms of the exogenous variables but what is your exogenous variable here your exogenous variable here is going to be rent wage and output rent wage and output then you will find your optima function objective function mein dal ke so c star is r k star plus w l star ये के स्टार एल स्टार तो आपने निकाल लिया यूजिंग लेग्रांच ये वैल्यूज आई हैं सो यू विल प्लग के स्टार एंड एल स्टार हियर एंड यू विल गेट योर सी स्टार दिस सी स्टार इज द मिनिमम कॉस्ट यू विल इनकर नाउ वी आर आस्किंग हाउ कॉस्ट विल चेंज एज रेंट विल चेंज तो अब मेरे को कोई डायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट का नहीं सोचना आई जस्ट हैव टू डिफरेंशिएट दिस कॉस्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू आर दैट इज हाउ कॉस्ट विल चेंज वेन रेंट विल चेंज with respect to w that is how cost will change when w will change and with respect to q and just remember but when you will differentiate it with respect to q what will you get you will get the lagrange multiply itself kyunki yahi to aana chahiye hai na ye hame pata hai from the previous class that you will get the lagrange multiply itself okay now there is one more thing i want to highlight so just think about it that the cost that we have found out it is w l star plus r k star beta yahi to optimal cost thi so when i am differentiating this cost with respect to r asking how cost will change when r will change i am getting k star so ideally when you will differentiate this optimal cost 
विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस आर जो भी आपका आंसर आएगा वट एवर आंसर यू विल गेट दैट विल बी एग्जैक्टली जो आपको ऑप्टिमा वैल्यू ऑफ के मिली थी दैट विल बी एग्जैक्टली द ऑप्टिमा वैल्यू ऑफ के एम आई क्लियर so this is a very important envelope theorem that if you want to find out the optima value of k you already know your minimum cost as a function of w r and q then you will just differentiate this with respect to r and it will give you the optima value of k similarly you will just differentiate this with respect to w and it will give you the optima value of l that is the envelope theorem okay beta thank you